Hey, laptop users, do you love your current workflow and want to get even more out of your machine? Do you want as much screen space as possible? Like we're talking a hundred inches of screen space. And do you want it beams directly into your eyes? And best of all, do you want to impress all your tech bro friends and make it look like you just jacked into the matrix every single time you check your email? Well, look no further because the future is now. So tech startup Sightful has just announced the world's first augmented reality laptop, Spacetop. What actually is it? Well, it's basically just a pair of Enreal Lite smart glasses hardwired into a laptop chassis. The company has been apparently working on this thing for three years in stealth mode, and they're finally ready to show it off, with an initial batch of 1,000 units being sold to the public. But is this thing even a good idea in the first place? Well, the idea here is that having a pair of smart glasses can give you a huge amount of virtual screen space compared to a normal laptop, with Sightful claiming that you can get around 100 inches of screen space out of this thing. Compared to a normal laptop, that sounds pretty cool until you pop open the hood and see what's actually going on here. First of all, current gen smart glasses have a fairly restrictive field of view, so as The Verge mentioned in their early review, you're not going to be able to see this full 100 inches of screen space all at once. It's also even less compelling when you consider that you have to view this 100 inch virtual display through a pair of 1080p smart glasses, and there's absolutely no easy way to show someone else what you're looking at without actually handing them the glasses or plugging in an external display. Another major thing to note about Spacetop specifically is it's really just a Snapdragon powered laptop chassis with, as I mentioned before, a pair of Unreal Light glasses hardwired into it. What's brutal here is that the OS really restricts your workflow to essentially just browser apps, something Sightful admit themselves, and because the smart glasses are hardwired, the second a new generation product comes out, you're going to be left in the dust. Another massive point to mention here is that the whole product will set you back $2,000, which is more than enough money to buy yourself a full modern Ultrabook and a pair of smart glasses to go with it, which will ultimately give you a better computing experience. And a real screen as well. <laughs> Besides, just look at this thing. This has to be one of the clunkiest laptop ideas I've ever seen. And you know they probably had to retake this shot a whole bunch of times to make it look sleek. I mean, look, the cable just kind of smushes on top of the keyboard here. Okay, so it's easy to pick a lot of holes in this product, but the truth is they're trying something that's pretty much uncharted territory. The idea of using AR glasses for a virtual display really hasn't been around that long, and it's quite obvious that the technology still has a lot of maturing to do. But overall, do I think this kind of workflow is a good idea? I actually really do, just not with a pair of current gen smart glasses hardwired into a laptop keyboard. For me, the main three points that need to be solved before this kind of technology can be really viable are display fidelity, field of view, and ease of use. Firstly, to comfortably render a virtual display, your AR glasses are going to need to have a higher resolution than the display you're trying to render, as there's always going to be scaling and rotation issues to account for if you want to place the display somewhere in the real world. With many modern laptops rocking 2K displays, you're probably going to need something around 4K per eye, I would say, to be able to comfortably render something like that virtually. And that's a four times increase in pixel count versus the 1080 per eye glasses we have right now. FOV is another issue, where achieving this idea of a productivity setup with loads of screens in front of you requires you to actually have enough FOV to see all of the screen. Current gen smart glasses with fields of view around 50 degrees might be okay for single activities like playing flat screen games, but if you try and use them for multi-screen productivity purposes, you're going to find yourself wanting more. Finally, these things have to be easy to pick up and use. And I'm sorry, Sightful, but a pair of smart glasses glued to a laptop frame is not going to cut it here. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this VR Compare quick take on Spacetop and AR laptops in general. I'd love to know what you guys think about this tech, and if you like the idea of using AR glasses or virtual displays for productivity. If so, let me know in the comments. And as I mentioned in the last video, we've got our first review for a pair of AR glasses in the pipeline, so don't miss it. And that is a wrap. Cheers, everybody.